Welcome to Always Alyssa. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. How are you doing today? I am at my art desk right now because I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to draw something super realistic. It's gonna be an animal, and it's actually an animal that I have never drawn before. Not even like a quick sketch or anything. I don't think I've ever drawn this animal in my entire life. So, we're gonna see how it goes. I think it's gonna be pretty good because the shape of the animal is pretty easy to draw, I would say. And of course, I'm going to be using the classic sketchbook I always use in these videos, the toned gray, my very favorite one for realistic art pieces. And you might be wondering, well, what animal are we drawing? In today's video, we are going to be drawing a panda. I'm really excited for this because, like I mentioned, I have never drawn a panda before, so it's gonna be pretty fun to do something a little bit new. And I found a reference picture that is really cute. It's just of the panda's face and it looks all happy. So I think this one is gonna turn out super cute. First things first, let's go over what supplies you're going to need to complete this art project. Of course, a sketchbook. You can use toned gray, toned tan, or you can just use white paper if that's all you have and that'll work perfect. You'll need a pencil, eraser, painter's tape, and colored pencils. So let's get started. The very first step is to make a little box with some painter's tape. The one I'm using is just normal blue painter's tape. So something like this will do the job. You're just going to make a square. Just cut off a couple pieces like this and make your shape. Here's how my square is looking. Just make sure it's very even. I am eyeballing it though. So I think it should be okay. And there you go. It looks pretty good. Next, you're gonna grab your pencil and eraser and we're gonna start sketching out the panda. I'm also gonna be using this kneaded eraser, which is so cool because when you do this, it allows you to erase smaller spaces. So I really love this one. Let's go ahead and get started. The easiest way to draw an animal like this, especially when you're just doing basically the face and you know, maybe a little bit of the body, is to kind of just start with a very big circle shape. So let's just kind of sketch that in pretty lightly because then if you don't like it, you can change it a little bit. And make sure you also measure for your reference picture and kind of see how like far it is from the edge of the paper. That really helps too. Now I'm just doing the shape of the ears. I'm kind of measuring to see how far the chin is from the mouth. And I'm going to start drawing this mouth shape in. Let's add a little tooth right here. For the eyes, I'm just gonna kind of measure and go up from the side of the nose, kind of eyeball it, no pun intended, and make a little dash, probably right about here. I think that'll be about the edge of where the black part of the eye starts. Just keep working on getting those shapes and don't forget about the little black patches that they have around their eyes. I made a few adjustments and I think it's looking super cute. And I'm just gonna add in a couple super small background details like there is a rock over here. So I'm just gonna sketch that in a little bit. And there is a, like a mountain. So let's put that, cause I think that's the blue sky up there. I noticed in the background there were some like blurry trees and pretty much everything in the background is blurry, including these leaves in front. And just the panda is in focus on my reference picture. So I just kind of made the trees like kind of squiggly because you know, they're gonna be blurry anyways. And I just kind of made the basic outline of them. Now it's time to color. I'm going to start off with the nose, which is mainly dark gray and black with a little bit of lighter highlights on the left and right side, which are kind of light blue and light gray coloring. Also guys, don't forget to lightly erase the pencil before you start coloring. Now for the eyes, make sure to leave a small bluish colored space for the highlight and make it more white when the dark part of the eye is finished. For these eye patches, make sure to start with gray as a base and gradually get darker when adding the layers. Same thing for the ears and the chest. Start with the gray as a base and layer on the black. 
You can use a sky blue for the light part too. Alright, I have a tip for you guys. When you're drawing the white part of the panda, specifically the white, not the black, be careful to not press too hard with the colored pencil at first. Do a lot of the layers with it before you start pressing hard or else it's going to look more dim and not quite as bright. Don't forget to add a bit of light yellow down here around the mouth area because it will help it look a little bit more realistic and not so flat. Now, when you're working on the background, drawing the mountains, the trees, and the rocks, and whatever else is behind this panda, go outside of the original lines that you drew in pencil a little bit and blend all around there to kind of give it more of a blurred look since the focus is on the panda. Don't worry about it looking a little bit messy because if you press a little bit harder and even if it is kind of messy, it'll just help complete the final look. Time to take the tape off. Here we go. Oh, such a satisfying part of the process. Ooh, look at that line. That's so good. Nice. Perfect. Yay, it's all finished. So cute, I love it. Well everybody, we finished the art piece. I'm actually pretty excited about how it turned out. I would say it turned out maybe a little better than I thought it would, but at the same time, there are definitely some things that could have been maybe a little bit better about it. But either way, I do really like it. Here is the finished product, the cute little panda. So a couple things that I do think could have been a little bit better is maybe some of the detailing on the face. It's very, very difficult to draw white fur. I don't know what it is, but Something about using the white colored pencil, especially because the actual white colored pencil is hard to make it look bright when you're coloring on this type of paper. Like for black, it's always super easy. Once you put it on, it's super dark just like that. I mean, look how dark that is. Like that one worked out great. But for white, it's hard to get it super white. If you're an artist, then you know what I'm talking about, but I don't know exactly how to say it. So hopefully you guys get what I mean. And I'm assuming you guys could tell, maybe not, but for my reference picture, the background was completely blurry, so that's what I tried to replicate on this. Like, these leaves were a little blurry. Everything else, like the trees in the background, was all blurred out, so I tried to kind of replicate that, which I thought was really cool because then the art piece is kind of focusing on the panda's face, which I really wanted, and I think, I think it turned out pretty good that way. I do really love the eyes, though. The eyes and, like, the mouth and nose. I do think those turned out, like, super cute, so I do love that. I mean, overall, it's pretty good. There's just a couple things that I would do maybe differently next time, but overall, I love it. Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video today, make sure to give me a thumbs up. That would be amazing. And if you followed along, I'm sure you did an amazing job. Oh, one more thing. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.